Hello guys, welcome back to another crazy video and in this video we are doing a performance test between OxygenOS 11 with that of OxygenOS 13.1 and OxygenOS 14. We are skipping OxygenOS 12 because that was a test version from OnePlus when they recently introduced the ColorOS code base. And guys, such videos takes a lot of time and efforts. So one like and subscribing to our channel if you are new here will be much appreciated. Here in this testing, we use the same phone which was OnePlus 9 because that had OxygenOS 11 followed by later versions. And we use the final builds of every version like for example we use the final build of oxygen os 11 which was 11.2.10.10 and the same story continues with oxygen os 13 and oxygen os 14 we also made sure that before starting the test none of the device have higher temperature which might affect the results so in all our testings the temperature was between 26 to 28 degrees celsius we made sure that device cooled down enough before starting the new test on oxygen os 13 and 14 we made sure that we have enabled high performance mode which wasn't required on oxygen os 11 and you guys will let us know after seeing the test which is the best version of oneplus till date so first we started with the video rendering test and the video which we rendered was 4k at 60 fps and the length of the video was 5 minutes so here in the video rendering test oxygen os 11 took 4 minutes 43 seconds 13.1 took 4 minutes 42 seconds and oxygen os 14 took 4 minutes 44 seconds in the video rendering test oxygen os 13.1 performed the best taking the shortest time rendering a 4k 60 fps video at 4 minutes and 42 seconds. This was slightly faster than both Oxygen OS 11 and Oxygen OS 14. After that, we had few heavy games to be loaded and we wanted to see which Oxygen OS version can load these games faster. So there were three games. One was Asphalt 9, Battlegrounds Mobile India and Call of Duty. On Oxygen OS 11, Asphalt 9 took 21 seconds to load, BGMI took 21 seconds to load and Call of Duty 25 seconds. On Oxygen OS 13.1, Asphalt 9 loaded in 19 seconds followed by BGMI 24 seconds and at last Call of Duty which took 28 seconds. On Oxygen OS 14, Asphalt 9 took 23 seconds followed by Call of Duty again 23 seconds and BGMI which took 28 seconds. Based on the timing taken to load the games, it appears that Oxygen OS 11 generally performs better in terms of loading game faster compared to other two versions. It had the shortest or equal shortest loading time for two out of three games we tested. Then we performed the Geek Benchmark test on Oxygen OS 11 single core scored 1528 and multi core scores were 3837 on 13.1 single core scores were 1523 and multi core scores were 3682 on oxygen os 14 single core scores were 1513 and multi core scores were 3600 based on the geek benchmark test oxygen os 11 again performed best amongst three versions it had the highest scores in single core and even in multi core test this indicates that in terms of raw processing power as measured by geek benchmark application oxygen os 11 outperformed the later versions oxygen os 13.1 and oxygen os 14 then after that we moved on to the next test which was cpu throttling test this test was 100 thread up to 30 minutes on oxygen os 11 maximum cpu throttled up to 82 percent and average gifts were about 2,96,000. On Oxygen OS 13.1, maximum CPU throttled up to 86% with an average gift scores of above 3 lakh. But here on Oxygen OS 14, maximum CPU throttled up to 90% and the average gifts were above 3.1 lakh. The test we performed which is CPU throttling test and here in CPU throttling test, I would say Oxygen OS 14 performed the best wherein the maximum CPU throttled up to 90% and average gifts were also above 3.1 million. Then we moved on to the next test which was Antutu benchmark test. So here Oxygen OS scored 8,93,509, 13.1 scored 9,39,895 and Oxygen OS 14 scored 9,17,745. Based on the Antutu benchmark scores, Oxygen OS 13.1 performed the best achieving the highest scores of 9,39,000 895. This suggests that in terms of overall device performance measured by Antutu, which includes aspects like CPU, GPU, memory and UX, Oxygen OS 13 offers the best robust performance amongst the three versions we tested. Then at last we performed the wildlife extreme stress test. Here on Oxygen OS 11, stability scores were 61.2%, best loop scores were 1563, lowest loop scores were 956, Battery drain we noticed which was around 89 to 79%. Temperature rise was from 26 degree Celsius to 42 degree Celsius and the frame rate was between 4 FPS to 12 FPS. On 13.1, stability scores were 58.6%. Best loop scores were 1547. Lowest loop scores were 907. Battery drain was 
from 89 to 79 percent temperature rise was from 27 degree celsius to 46 degree celsius and frame rates were between 4 fps to 13 fps on oxygen os 14 stability scores were 56.2 percent best loop scores 1551 followed by lowest loop which was 872 battery drain was 79 to 70 percent temperature rise was from 25 degree celsius to 45 degree celsius and again frame rate was between 4 fps to 14 fps here also oxygen os 11 seems to perform better overall in wildlife extreme test it showed higher stability scores a significant best loop scores a reasonable temperature increase and a balanced frame rate considering the results for all these tests it's evident that each oxygen os version excels in different areas oxygen os 11 showed the strength in loading games faster and wildlife extreme test stability oxygen os 13.1 excelled in n2 benchmark scoring and video rendering oxygen os 14 demonstrated a good processing power in the geekbench and cpu throttling test overall oxygen os 13.1 seems to strike a balance between performance and efficiency, excelling in the key areas like video rendering and overall system stability. However, the best version can vary based on individual priorities like gaming, system performance or thermals. But according to you guys, which Oxygen OS performed the best? Let us know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.